What I have here is the steel BR600. This is more often than not my recommendation for commercial guys or large property owners, school districts, parks, those guys. Um, this is the go-to. We sell more of these than any other big commercial backpack blower we have. Um, been around for years, tried and true. People have them, use them, like them, buy more. You know, big outfits at least. You know, uh, but it is the steel four mix engine, so it's more four stroke than two stroke. It does use two stroke gasoline. That's how they get the lubrication for the crankcase in it. Uh, for power, it's their most powerful blower, uh, 677 cubic feet a minute which I'm kind of curious about because I was just reviewing the specs before doing this video and last year it was 712 cubic feet a minute. So I'll have to ask our steel rep and see what the hell happened. Um, but they, I know they were retesting because they're going to Newton's which is a more objective, less biased way of measuring performance in blowers. Um, and if you watch my BR450 video, I said I didn't know what the hell a Newton was and going over it happens to tell me. So Newton is the force needed to accelerate one kilogram of mass at the rate of one meter per second. So that's a Newton. If I get an answer from my rep about the performance change, I'll let you know. But basic overview, uh, it's a blower. It blows shit. All right, you have your adjustable tubes down here. You can swivel them, adjust them, retighten them back down, and latch them in place. Uh, your controls, kill switch there, throttle lock up here, pull throttle in, lock in place. Got your choke, partial choke in the middle, run position, primer bulb. Um, that's pretty much about it, really. You can go blow leaves, blow grass, blow whatever the hell you want to blow. You're, yeah, you can go blow other guys. I don't give a shit. I don't discriminate. But one thing about this machine I don't like, and if you read reviews, um, you'll see it's definitely noted other other places. These straps are comfortable. You know, they're nice. Compared to the 450, they're a lot nicer, than, which I don't understand why they didn't put these, this style of strap on the 450. But when you're actually wearing it, and I have fairly broad shoulders, I'm pretty wide. Uh, but over time, as you're going, these straps tend to kind of pull out like such. There is an optional chest strap you can get, but it's an option. Honestly, I think. With this design, it should be, you know, just given to you because it's a common issue. But, you know, wear it for a while without a chest strap and you find that you kind of hunch your shoulders forward just to kind of keep it in place. Like I said, I even have wider shoulders than most. Uh, so it does it on me. You know, if you're narrower than me, it's going to do it on you too. Not a huge problem. Not, I mean, by no means a deal breaker. It's something I could definitely deal with. Uh, but just something to be raised, you know, like I said, not a steel fanboy, but a fan. So I'll go ahead and start up, you can hear it. If you watched the BR450 video, I was kind of jerking off this little pad here. It really does kind of come in handy, honestly. I don't know why all the manufacturers don't have it on there. And obviously, you don't want to be running this thing in a closed garage. I just ran it a little bit earlier, so I don't need to choke it or anything. Uh, what I usually do is, on these, you can either lock the throttle or turn it to the half choke. So here, I'll just turn it to the half choke.